How many approaches can I do in one hour? We're about to find that out in this approach-a-thon video. So I'm fired up and ready to take on the city. Unfortunately, got a few things working against me in that it's raining here in Sydney on and off, and it's also winter, but nevertheless, I shall not be deterred. I'm David Thorpe, dating coach here in Sydney, Australia. Let's get to it. Okay, so just change the mics around. Uh, it is now 5.23. So we're gonna get going, let's go. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. I was just on my way to the pub there, but I think you look very nice and I just had to pay the compliment. Thank oh. you very much. Yes, you're looking good, very wintry. I'm on my way to something, so I'll No worries, I'll see you around. Okay, so, first one always the hardest. Just eat up now and ready to go. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, can I be a bit cheeky? I, I'm just on my way to the pub down there, but I think you look very nice. Mm, thank so you. I had to come over and say hello, I'm David. Hello. And, uh, you don't look like you are from Australia. No. no. <laughs> no. From Ecuador. From? Ecuador. Ecuador, wow, I've never been there. But I imagine many trees, yeah. very <laughs> hot and sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the animal called the sloth? Yeah. 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 My sister, she went to Costa Rica. Yeah. She had a very good time because oh, mm. really it's very focused on eco uh, preservation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. And you're from? Uh, England. Oh, England. Yes. Okay. Well, look, um, I've, I've got to go. I've got to go to the bar. Uh, but another time, uh, let's go for a coffee or something. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, WhatsApp? Yeah. Okay, good, good. I forgot your name already. Yeah. Yeah, what's my name? David. David, yes. David. Okay, in Spanish it's David. David? Yes, in English it's David. Yeah! <laughs> okay. How do I say good evening in Spanish? Buenas noches? You write good, my name. I write, I write your name correctly? Yes. Yes. Because in Australia all the people they write with A. Mm. The Australians, they do not know how to speak English. Nice to meet you, Emi. See you later. Okay, so second approach, so that was good. Um, yeah, just getting warmed up, but um, yeah, quick flick of the eyes. And uh, yeah, just went in. So yeah, it was good, good interaction. Um, yeah, really nice. And um, yeah, that was it, got the number, so let's move on. Still full of beans, still got some energy. Sorry, can I be a bit cheeky? Uh, I'm just on my way to the pub, but I think you both look very nice and I just have to come over and say hello. Oh, no. Hello, you're very nice fast walkers. I'm like, oh my God. Hello, I'm David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Look, you, you look a little shocked. A bit shocked, a bit yeah. Shocked. I understand, I understand. Hello, and you, you, I heard you speaking Spanish. Yeah, and where, are you, where are you originally from? From Brazil. From Brazil? Yes. Oh no. I had many Brazilian girlfriends back in London. Oh, mm. nice. Yes, they were good. They used to call me Gachinho. Oh, yes. Mm, which is cute which little cat. Which makes sense in Portuguese. Portuguese, yes. Yes, and in Spanish as well. Right? Gatito. Yes. Gatito, yes, yes. yes. But I, I loved Carnival the best, I find. Yeah. Rio was, uh, yes. yeah, I don't know. It was like being put inside a washing machine for seven days and then coming out the other end, so, yes. Have you been to Carnival? No, wish. No. no? South America's on the hit list. But you speak Spanish. Yeah, I do. Do. Much better than me, actually. <laughs> yeah. But you I can do. But oh, did you? Okay. So I find English-speaking people we really struggle to learn languages. I've loved them. I studied both French and Spanish at school, so it's ingrained. Okay. And what age do you start? Um, French was the whole way through, so five. Spanish was fourteen. Mm. 
Okay, I probably started too late. Yeah. Like in England, obviously learning language is not a priority. Yeah. We started French at 12, yeah. Spanish at 13 yeah. for one year. So useless. Yeah. yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? The entitlement that English people have yeah. to go and speak English. We spread it down here fairly enough. <laughs> no one gives <laughs> about languages down here. No, they don't, do they? Although, what do they, what do they speak here? They're teaching Japanese and Mandarin now. Mm. Mandarin, bloody nightmare. We'd love to speak it though, that and Arabic. Arabic? Yeah. Geopolitical powerhouse. Spanish, Chinese, and Arabic. Mm. Yeah, the Arab, the Arab, Arab nations, I reckon, they're going places. Yeah. Particularly so. Saudi. I'll leave you both because I have an appointment. Ah. I have Whatever. to run as yes. well. No worries. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, so, yeah. It was alright. <laughs> Fun chat. Yeah, doing. Uh, is always just a little bit more of a challenge. It's been a little while, so uh, a little bit rusty. But yeah, just trying to bounce off both. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was good. Good, uh, yeah, two girls at once. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit tricky. I'm a bit rusty. Haven't, haven't done an interaction like that in probably a few weeks. So just a little bit, um, just trying to just settle. But um, yeah, it was good, it was good. Um, obviously I've got plenty to say to Brazilians having, um, had several Brazilian girlfriends and, and being there myself as well. So yeah, it was good. But yeah, just uh, just trying to keep the momentum up, just keep that positive energy so that I don't flatline. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep going. Excuse me. Sorry, can I be a bit cheeky? Uh, I'm just on my way to the pub, but I just think you look very nice and I just had to come over. Thank you. <laughs> I noticed your uh, mosquito. Is it a mosquito? A moth. A moth? Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was attacked by a moth in um, the Northern Territory, actually. Really? Yeah. How'd it get you? Uh, it bit me at night and then I had this awful skin rash that lasted about six weeks. Because my, uh, my body was kind of reacting to a very mild poison. So uh, it, was, it would be much better if I had a more like masculine story of like a crocodile or something, but coming back and being attacked by a moth, yeah, so. Anyway, how was your day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries. All right, see you around. Yeah, so just, again, that was just really annoying just with the environment around me, so many multiple car horns going off, just, yeah, ruins the interaction and then got it going again and then more car horns. And, and it was just kind of, you know, the interaction broke and it's just like, oh look, you know, I'll just leave you uh, to enjoy your evening. So, um, yeah, it's rare that happens. I think previously I've had like, um, someone like push their bike over my half foot, that, that hurt. Um, like trams being rammed into my legs and stuff. So it does kind of ruin the vibe. And, and if you break eye contact and it just kind of ruins that interaction, then it's, it's just really hard to, um, to get it going again as well. So I, yeah, anyway, look, it is what it is. We've got, 30 minutes left, let's see what we can do. Excuse me, sorry, can I be a bit cheeky? I'm on my way to the pub, uh, the Hilton Bar, but I think you're looking very nice. Oh, thank you. You're a fast walker. Hello, I'm David. You had a very curious look about you. I was like, oh, okay. I have to just come find out more. I'm actually um, on my way to see my partner. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, he or she is very lucky. Thank you. See you later. Okay, well, approach a thon, my ass. That was a bit of a car crash. Not a clue. Not a clue. We can't come through. Well, approach a thon, my ass. That was a bit of a car crash, and the hour is up. Um, yeah, I got hit with blowouts, boyfriends, uh, showers of rain, where I had to take cover under uh, canopies like this in the city as well. So. Yeah, really, really, actually, diabolical session, <laughs> to be honest, but on camera for your entertainment. And I think it does show um, the realities of 
uh, the street and going out approaching if this is your means to meet women. Uh, it's not going to be glamorous all the time. It's not going to be, um, you know, loads and loads of options for you in the street, packed full of attractive women that you want to meet. Um, sometimes it can be a bit thin on the ground or yeah, you get hit with a rainstorm or something like that. So it is about that consistency. And I think, um, you know, I've set the bar pretty low for myself for future approach to videos, which I'm very keen on doing in the near future. But I also think that if you, um, if you went out and had a bit of a rough session, you know, like I did tonight, but collected one phone number and you went out, um, every night after work so monday through to friday and you did exactly that you would get five phone numbers which actually is pretty good for um in the week and it's just so much better than internet dating right because you've had that face-to-face -face interaction and the girls got to know you rather than over a, over a, a dating profile and you've got the number you've texted her and you've got a much more solid prospect uh, for dating rather than just swiping away endlessly um, on Tinder or Hinge or whatever. So um, look, you know, this is the realities of the street and it, it can be hard. Um, so yeah, look, a bit of a washout, a bit tough, but uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, well, I'm definitely not done with this idea of how many approaches I can do in one hour. I will be back, I will be out on the streets, maybe on a Saturday afternoon with uh, picturesque weather as well. Um, and yeah, get a better result for you guys. But if you like this video, then please do smash that like button. I'm interested in your comments. I think I'm probably wincing already for uh, what you'll be typing, like, oh, Thorpe, what crap was that? But um, yeah, go nuts in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video and some of the other videos that I'm putting out for approaching, texting, uh, dating, relationships, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. But until next time and another opportunity for an approach a thon, I will be back. See you soon.